All right, need to do a very quick video here warning about Gene Kim. I've been warning about him for a long time. Um, here he says some things that are just outright heretical, which I condemned in my study about pleading the blood. Um, he tells people to do it in this video here. This is August 6th of 2020. Uh, my original sermon came out in 2011, or yeah, 2011. So let's listen to what he says here. But he says this weird thing at the beginning. Um, it's real stuff, uh, prayers of blood. Mm -hmm. Listen to this. The second thing is to claim it. The se second thing is to claim it. Why? Because when you have faith, you're believing what God says and that it will come to pass. So, so that's the idea about claiming. So then when you plead the power of the blood, you have to claim. Plead the power of the blood. Now, if you haven't seen my study, right there it is. You can listen to it. I go through the scriptures. There's not one verse of scripture that says pleading the blood of Jesus or plead the blood of Jesus or anything else. That is witchcraft. When you are, by definition, witchcraft is bending, shaping, changing reality. That's what witchcraft means. Okay? I don't like my reality, so I have to bend, shape, and change the reality with pleading the blood. That's witchcraft. All right? So, you know, you can change things by pleading the blood. You just heard him say it. That's a satanic heresy. It's nowhere in scripture. Let's continue. Claim it as if that you will get it at that moment. Now, remember, uh, George Mueller, when he prayed, isn't that how prayer works, where you claim it? When George Mueller prayed, he claimed it by faith, believing that what, uh, what he prayed for, he will get. Okay. <laughs> Did you get that? What's he talking about? You name it, and you claim it, and then you get it. Sounds kind of familiar, doesn't it? So, you know... I'm just very dumb and everything, so I just kind of went and I prayer, name it, and claim it is what I typed in right there. And can I name it and claim it? One there, name it and claim it prayers. A serious study of the best of name it and claim it verse ever. This guy gets into it and uh, using the New American Standard Version, not even a you know King James Bible believer there, but these people are, are coming and they're they're coming against it. You get all these uh, prosperity teachers, and they're all saying, name it and claim it. You pray it, you speak it into existence. Joel Osteen debunked, name it and claim it, the truth. But Gene Klim, Kim is literally right here, a Bible-believing Christian, just said to name it and claim it, and you'll get it. And you people think he's a real Bible believer. Yeah, okay. Real Bible believer, yeah, my foot. Now, remember, the boundary line is that we don't know completely about the will of God, right? So you can go yes, no, or wait. However, here's the thing. I, ta I taught you this before. The more you grow in relationship with the Father, you know exactly what it is that he'll say more of yes on and no on and wait on. You know. That's why George Mueller had that faith that he knew that it would come to pass. That's how deep his relationship is with God. So then, if you have that kind of deep relationship, that when you claim it by the blood, when you, you, cl you say, Lord. Claim it by the blood. All right, let's, uh, let's find that out in Scripture. Gene Kim wouldn't have said it if it wasn't in the Bible. You know he wouldn't. He's the best YouTube preacher online because he, well, he's not quite at Robert Breaker's level. He hasn't quite got that many phony, you know, false uh, bot subscribers. But he's getting there. He's getting there. So, claim, what did he say? The claim the blood? Was that it? Claim the blood. Claim the blood. Let's see how many times that's, sorry, no matching verse is found. King James Version. Huh. Yeah. You claim the blood. Yeah. Uh, it's not in there. He just lied to you. But some of you, that doesn't matter. He's still the best preacher around out there, and I'm just a troublemaker for calling him out. And I'm jealous of his artificial intelligence bot subscribers. Lord, by the power of the blood, I claim it, and then you give the person who gets saved. You mentioned about the need that needs to be provided for, or even physical things that God...
Ooh, even physical things. Uh-oh. How is this guy any different? What he's saying right here is prosperity gospel. Name it and claim it. Kenneth Copeland, Joyce Meyer, uh, Joel Osteen, all of them. This is what they teach. There you go. Is this really a Bible believer? How can you people defend this? God will grant you. Or the promises that he gave in his word through his spirit. So then you claim it as if you're going to get it. That's why we put claim here, because that's the kind of faith you need. And that's the kind of prayer life George Mueller lived by. But now claim it through the blood. Say, I claim it by the blood, Lord. You think that's powerful? Because why? The blood, what? It speaks. And that's why you got to use the promises of God, right? Use his word. Ha! Okay. Claim it by the blood. You have to use his word. I just showed you. It's not in the Bible. You see, I've been around a long time. I've been preaching a long time. I have understood how to spot false prophets. I try to warn the body of Christ. Oh, just get back to preaching the gospel. All kinds of sermons preaching the gospel. They're there. People respond all the time. Hey, I just got saved from your ministry and whatever else. I, I do preach the gospel. Okay. <laughs> but I have to warn about false prophets like this. Wolves that creep in unawares and try to destroy the Bible-believing movement from the inside. One minute, oh, he's condemning the charismatics, but then he's turning right around and saying what they say. Satanic heresy. You know, that's what that's why I'm here. That's why people donate to this ministry, so that I'm here to warn the body of Christ. Listen to my warnings. But it gets worse. Is it remember what I taught you about prayer? One of the key things to convince God? is what? Use, quoting scripture to him. George Mueller, when he prayed, he pointed a verse and said, this is what you promised, Father, so you have to give it to me. <laughs> this is what you promised, so you have to give it to me. Really? What about the God, whatever your will is? Not my will, but thine be done. What about that? And by the way, this whole thing of praying the word of God and whatever, what, there was a prayer of Jabez a number of years ago. I think it was Max Lucado that wrote it. Cross dispensational lines goes back to the Old Testament, takes something for the Jews and says, you pray this little prayer because it's in the Bible and it, it'll come to pass. Lord, bless me, bless me indeed, was the whole thing. Big controversy about that years ago. I guess he's promoting that too. You just kind of go through the Bible and, hey, it says it, so I'm going to pray that. And I get it because after all, God, you said it, so you have to give it to me. So, you know what you need to do, Lord? This, does not your blood speak? And because your blood speaks, bring it to pass. Isn't that a... Isn't that nice? Because your blood speaks, bring it to pass. Snap your fingers. You get going, God. You do what I tell you to do. And you, can, you people take him seriously? Really? A powerful prayer life? All right. Now, when you do that, then the next thing, let's see over here. Number four, so you believe you have faith, and then you claim it, and you use, and you speak it uh, through His Word. So then, when you use His Word, now what you do after that is that when you use His Word through the blood, here's something that a lot of people don't think about. A lot of people they don't think about this one, which is what is already mentioned before. Suffering. What makes it more, uh, isn't that what we agree upon, that where prayer life becomes more powerful? Well, let's use some examples. If the flesh suffers in starvation when you fast, and God wants you to pray, fast and pray, why does that bring more powerful prayer results? Why is it that when people shed blood, that the Lord hears their cry, like the tribulation saints, and... Uh, okay, um, it wasn't by their choice, okay? Um, and see what he does. He does a little bait and switch here. Well, see fasting and then people that are martyred and now we're going to get into some more Catholic stuff. Listen to this. And then brings a powerful answer to the prayer request through their blood. See, the Lord hears, uh, hears the suffering. Didn't you know that the suffering of Jesus Christ, the Bible says, was not only to give you salvation, but also the Bible says the opportunity to what? Suffer for his sake. 
How, how about that? So when you're using his blood, your blood, if you combine your blood with that, that would be very powerful. Romans chapter 12, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a what? Living sacrifice. Amen. And it wholly acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. God loves that. If your body, when you're going through suffering, is a sacrifice to the Father, think about it. In the Old Testament times, what made God answer the prayers and send favor to the prayer of the person? When the sacrifice gave a sweet incense to his nose. And when your suffering goes up like a sacrifice, you know what God the Father is doing? That's a sweet smell. So let me give you a powerful example. All right? Okay, so you're combining your suffering with that of Jesus Christ, is what he just got done saying there. All right, so me being rather stupid again, I just kind of went and I put it typed in uniting our sufferings with Christ. And, uh, huh, Catholic, St. Paul Center, probably Catholic, I don't know. Um, what does it offer? What does it mean to offer up my suffering? Roman Catholic. Why do we offer up suffering? I have no idea what ascension presents. That sounds Catholic to me. Unite your suffering to the cross. Catholic. The meaning of suffering. Catholic. Yeah, well, ascension presents. Ascension presents. So yeah, it's Catholic. Excuse me. Suffering leads us to God. 99 Catholics channel. Um, Catholic Good News Ministries. Uniting, unite your sufferings to Jesus for healing. Okay, here's a real good one, and there's no connection. Don't even think about making a connection. That would be wrong. Um, scripture and Tradition with Father Mitch Pacwa, Jesuit. He's an SJ. Um, EW2N here. EWTN, excuse me. But he's a Jesuit. Uh, recommended James White's book on the Trinity. Kind of funny. Unite your sufferings with Christ. Hmm. And that's uh, what the old uh, Gene Kim here just got done saying. So then if you have that kind of... There you go. <laughs> uh, but you people still defend the guy. Even though he... Uh, I did this video here. Why is Gene Kim running his church out of the Catholic building? Showing that he, this is the building. The Roman Catholics use it. Hall of Santa Clara. And um, he's in there running his Baptist church. Okay. So, you know, you people, if you want to continue listening to Gene Kim... Go ahead, don't listen to my warnings, and uh, he will lead you astray. That's going to be it. Thank you for watching.